What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So today we're finally going to go ahead and put together this and actually build our first mining rig. So we have all the everything in front of us here. We have um, the Ares Gamer 750 watt power supply, which is going to go ahead and power the Asus B250 uh, mining expert motherboard. It's also going to go ahead and power our risers here as well. In addition to that, we do have our USB cables that do have the PCIe uh, adapter cards on it. Uh, we do have our power cables now. Finally, they came in the mail for uh, the HP power supply um, that does have the board connected to it. And those cables are going to plug directly into here and those go directly into our GPUs. Today for testing to get our first setup, we are going to use uh, this is a GTX 974 gigabyte card. So for our first test, we're going to set this up and uh, we're going to go ahead and be uh, mining Ravencoin to test this out. I have gone ahead and downloaded Hive OS that we're going to be using for this setup. Uh, I do have it on a USB, small little USB thumb drive that we're going to be plugging in. But if all goes well, I want to transfer it to an SSD. I was doing some research on Hive OS's website. They recommend not to use a USB uh, drive long term. They recommend using it to get set up, but then swapping over to an SSD. So I have like an old, I should say old, it's like a few year old, um, 120 gigabyte solid state drive. And I found the command uh, on HiveOS's website where once you have the USB plugged in and you have the SSD set up, you can actually go ahead and transfer uh, the entire HiveOS image and files from the USB to the SSD for more uh, long-term longevity. So we're going to go ahead and steal something from uh, Red Panda Mining's channel. And pretty much we're going to go ahead and see you guys at the tail end of this in three, two, and one. Alrighty guys. So we are back. Uh, took, took, I would say about two hours. Um, just trying to slowly do this and figure it out on my own. Um, a few things I ran into, but let, let's go ahead and go over exactly what we have here. So uh, we have our motherboard, okay? And uh, we have our ATX power supply. So the ATX power supply has our main motherboard feed here, um, there. And then also, uh, as you guys can see, right down here. So our ATX power supply is powering our motherboard. Awesome, great. Um, taking another look here, we also have the fans up top here are being powered by the mother motherboard. They actually come down and plug in right here. This is actually our little power button uh, that came with the motherboard. So that actually makes it really nice. Um, so outside of that, that's all that the ATX power supply is actually powering. So it, got, it kind of got me scratching my head because in my mind, I was thinking that the ATX power supply would also power all my risers. So I need to kind of look into that to figure that out. Maybe I'm missing something. Um, so I swapped over to do it this way just because we're, we're getting the setup. So here is our uh, HP 1200 watt power supply that goes ahead and plugs into the um, to the card here. And this actually has a nice voltage screen as well as a power button. So then what we have is we have two of our six pins. So one of the six pins comes up here and goes into this splitter and the splitter comes in and goes to an eight pin and then also to a six pin, which is being used on the card, as you guys can see here. The other one, the other power cable down here, uh, actually runs into our riser. So here is an example of one of our risers. So uh, it runs into the six pin, uh, pin spot on the riser. Um, so I'm using the HP 1200 watt um, power supply to go ahead and power not only the card, but also the riser. In my mind, and I don't know why I was thinking this, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, my mind, the ATX power supply was not only powering the board, but it was also going to power all my risers. So I kind of have to figure out, like, what am I missing? Um, because I didn't have, this is a semi-modular power supply, a 750 watt, and I didn't have anything available from a cable perspective to go from the 8-pin um, slots on the power supply to a 6-pin on the back here. So I got to have to figure that out moving forward. Uh, leave a comment down below. Maybe you guys know something that I don't. So outside of that, we have our card here. 
Uh, we have it plugged into DVI going into this old Dell monitor. Everyone's got one of these sitting around, I feel like. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a keyboard plugged in. Uh, we have our Ethernet plugged in. And then here is the USB drive that we installed HiveOS on. So we went and set up a HiveOS um, account on the website. Very simple and easy. We set up our first worker uh, within our farm. Um, we also went in and set up um, our, our, our flight sheet as well. Um, and that allowed us to set up, I set up the 970 in there. So I set up Ravencoin connected to uh, my wallet. And then I also, I'm right now just to get this up and running using Nanopool. And then this should be running, I believe it is T-Rex Miner um, to go along with the NVIDIA. Uh, so that's just for this setup here. Once I get into the additional cards and get these all put in place, those will replace this eventually, but this is just to get this up and running. So um, I got I just plugged these in and we're gonna go ahead and turn these on for the first time. I'm gonna turn on the GPU. I'm gonna turn on the GPU and the riser first here, and then we're gonna turn this on. So let's see what happens here. So we're gonna press the button. Ooh, we got lights, awesome. Our card has power and is spinning, which is awesome. And then we're gonna come down here and turn that on. Uh, we have a light on the motherboard here. Let me hit the power button on the side. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> A little concern there. Uh, so yeah, look, we got our fans are all, all on right now. We actually got boot, which is awesome. Um, first time, yay, we did something right. Check that out. We have Hive OS right now booting. And uh, let's see what it does from here. I have watched a few videos. So I've, I've heard that this could sit here for a minute before we actually get into the Hive OS screen. So other than that, I am thrilled that we actually got this booting on the first time that everything's running. I mean, uh, everything worked out well. There were a few caveats here and there. I need to figure out some of the wiring items here um, that kind of threw me off. Oh, look at that, perfect. Looks like we're booting right in, which is awesome. Um, so I need to go ahead and figure out, you know, kind of, and leave a comment down below. You guys may know more than me here. Is it traditional that your ATX power supply powers your risers? And if so, what am I, what, what cables am I using to do that? um versus uh coming off of the um hp 1200 watt i'd rather dedicate this to my gpus over here and allow this to power my risers anyways guys that is it for today i'm going to try to figure out how to get this configured properly um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see the next video coming out uh, and other than that guys have a great one